Hey guys, Jeff Tricoli here with Keller Williams Realty, the Tricoli team real estate here in Southeast Florida. And today I just wanted to talk about uh, our favorite beaches. So my team got together the other day and we kind of voted on our top seven beaches here in Southeast Florida. So I just want to kind of share that with you. If you guys have your own, I'd love you guys to share that and like the video if you like uh, this subject that we're talking about today. So for us, there's no particular order except for the last two. We kind of voted on the last two. Uh, being a little bit ahead of the rest, but the first is Palm Beach. So uh, what we love about Palm Beach is you have Worth Avenue right there. You have A1A. The drive to Palm Beach is outstanding. Uh, a little crazy now with mar lago and everything going on there uh, with the traffic and Donald Trump and that sort of thing. So just try to steer clear of that. But the drive to Palm Beach is just amazing. And then Worth Avenue with all the high-end shops and restaurants and that sort of thing. And the mansions just along A1A there uh, along the beach. The second one I'm kind of lumped together because uh, it's just Singer Island in general. You have Ocean Reef Park. Uh, you have Phil Foster Park, and then you have Peanut Island. So all kind of lumped right there together. Uh, Phil, Phil Foster Park has a nice artificial reef where you can snorkel. It's under the Blue Heron Bridge. And then once you get over the Blue Heron Bridge, you have, um, you know, you, you are right, right out there. You have Peanut Island uh, where you can actually take a water taxi um, from Sailfish Marina. And then Ocean Reef Park is actually in Singer Island and uh, it's, they've got a reef real close to the beach. So it's an easy snorkel on a calm day. The next one is uh, Lake Worth Beach. So uh, really nice, Lake Worth has a pier there. Uh, they have a pizza shop, they have ice cream. So it's great to bring the kids one evening or afternoon uh, to have pizza, pizza, go on the beach, really nice beach. Uh, you know, they have the pier, Benny's on the beach also, restaurant. Uh, right there on the pier too, which is really cool. A lot of people fish off the pier. And then the, the next one is Delray Beach. So Delray Beach, a two mile beach. It's right off Atlantic Avenue. So if you know Atlantic Avenue, there's a lot of uh, a lot of restaurants, a lot of different shops and that sort of thing. Along Atlantic, really nice. A little park there, not too far away as well um, off Atlantic. And then next one, Fort Lauderdale Beach. So Fort Lauderdale Beach is, uh, I mean, You've heard Fort Lickerdale, right? And uh, Fort Lauderdale uh, bars there, you know, restaurants, shops right along the beach. A lot of people uh, walking up and down, biking up and down, rollerblading up and down. And then during spring break, uh, it gets a little crazy. So uh, if, you, if you want a little more mellow, you're probably not the best time to go is during spring break. But if you like to party and hang out and spring breaks the, the time to get down to Fort Lauderdale. And then we have South Beach. So uh, South Beach is, is number two on our list uh, just because there's so many things to do. So many restaurants, so many shops. You have A1A, uh, you have a park right there, uh, volleyball, a lot of people rollerblading, biking, uh, so many different um, dynamics go on down in South Beach. And then it's right there in, where the port is and where all the cruise ships come in and out. And then the final one, which is our favorite, uh, you know, voted voted from our team. You know, again, we'd love you to share yours. And uh, the, the final one is, is Jupiter Beach. And there's just so much to do, uh, ranging from Juno, uh, which is on the south end. You have the Juno Pier, you have the Juno Dog Park, which, you know, you need to bring your dog, let them out on the beach. And then on the north side, you have the inlet, uh, where all the boats come in and out. And um, you have uh, you know, just really nice, large beach there as well. You also have a park. So if you want to have birthday parties, barbecues, that sort of thing. And then you have Dubois Park, which is real close to there for the little ones, you know, go into the water. It gets really shallow there. It's a really nice place for the little ones to play. And then, and then just a short drive away, you have a lot of little bars, restaurants, uh, you know, for lunch, dinner, that sort of thing. So those are our top seven uh, beaches we, we voted on here, Southeast Florida. We'd love to hear yours. I got my beach gear on, so we're ready to go to the beach. And uh, if you ever have any questions about anything at all in Southeast Florida, give us a call, uh, email us, text us. We'd love to help. Thank you again. This is Jeff Tricoli with the Tricoli Team Real Estate.